So in this video, I am going to show you how to configure RoboDK in order to control a real QKUA from your uh, simulation in real time. So first, open RoboDK. And in the beginning, you have to make sure that you have Python 3 installed and recognized by your RoboDK. To do so, go I think to tools options yeah, and you have to go here to other and you see that I have Python 3.8 installed on my computer and it is recognized by RoboDK I also test the code in Python 3.7 and it worked for Python 2 I think the code will not work so after you make sure that Python 3 is installed on your computer and it is recognized by RoboDK, you have to prepare your RoboDK simulation with your QKEWA. Here I have QKEWA, I have dotted several targets and I made a program between those targets. So here you see the robot moving. So you have to simulate your robot and you have to make sure that the robot is moving smoothly and with a reasonable speed. This is very important because the real robot will copy the motion of the robot in the simulation. So if the robot in the simulation is moving quite fast, the real robot cannot uh, coop up or cannot copy the exact motion of the simulated robot and you are gonna get an error in the smart pad and the robot is going to stop because the robot is violating its joint limits, joint uh, velocity limits and etc. So here you see that I have prepared the simulation and I have tested the simulation and the robot is moving in a reasonable velocity and with a continuous motion. Right now let's start uh, config configuring RoboDK to control the robot so we have to go to here to load file and then we have to navigate to the folder robodk script which is inside the code that you have downloaded and unzipped from github I'm gonna put the link for this code in the description below so double click on the python script robot decay ewa interface and here it is it appears in your tree in your project tree around here so afterwards double click it and it is going to run in those boxes you have to configure uh, some data so first of all in here in this box you get uh, the name of your uh, uh, simulated robot and in here you have to add the IP of your real robot so uh, in uh, our lab the IP of our robot is 172.31 and 147 if you have different IP you have to put it in here afterwards we have to tell the sunrise controller the inertial data of the tool that we are using here I have the mail part of the tool changer and it's around 0 0.15 kilograms and the coordinates of the center of mass in relation to the frame with the flange is 0, 0, 20 millimeter in the z direction of the frame of the flange after configuring the inertial data and your robot information you have to go to the smart pad of the robot now make sure that you have followed the instructions in the previous tutorial that where I explained how to install the drivers for controlling Kukaiwa from RoboDK. 
those drivers shall be installed in the Sunrise controller of your robot and I'm gonna leave uh, a link to the previous tutorial in the description below so go to the smart pad of the robot and you have to go to applications and you have to choose the application RoboDK EY interface make sure that the smart pad is in the automatic mode and then you have to run the application by pressing the green run button in your smart pad after the program is running in your smart pad you have 60 seconds to connect to it from this interface so hit on connect and observe your smart pad the smart pad is gonna tell you what to do if everything runs smoothly then you are connected successfully if for example the, the initial configuration of the robot is different from the initial configuration of the simulation then the smart pad is going to give you instructions on how to proceed so here we have connected successfully to the real robot and you can just run your program and the real robot is going to copy the motion of the robot in the simulation as simple as that as I said make sure that the robot in the simulation is moving smoothly and in a reasonable velocity because the real robot is gonna copy exactly the motion of the robot in the simulation for example I can go to some target in here and the real robot is gonna follow the motion exactly can go to here return back to the this, to this point let me see can we do can go to pose pose one we can go to pose three 